Hello everyone, David here, New View Safety Coach, and this is the first video in a new playlist or series that I like to call them. And I'm going to name it the Waffle On series, because for those of you who've seen any of my videos, you'll know that I um, have a proclivity for waffling on at times and um, going off track and try and describe too much or um, yeah just dragging something out that could be said very succinctly very quickly I've got an, an, an innate capability to waffle on and take a lot longer than what it should do so I thought well let's just create a playlist of me waffling on now I've been thinking about this and it doesn't I don't want the playlist to be about the same thing the rest of the site's about, my YouTube channel. I don't want it to be specifically about new view safety or organizational coaching. I'd like it to just be like a repository of uh, mind dumping that I can just make a video about things that I'm thinking about at the time, um, coincidences that have happened, maybe things that I've learned. Um, yeah, just anything really. Um, and I still need to temper my use of the erms because I'll just keep on saying them if I don't pull myself up on that. So this first one is going to be a pertinent one because it's got relevancy, recency and relevancy. Um, recently I put a LinkedIn post uh, up which explained that I found out about six months ago that I've got a Fantasia and there's been a few people on LinkedIn ask me what it is how did I know that I have it what are the consequences of having it and just the other day I think it's number 12 in the don't watch series which would have been yesterday I think it's yesterday I mentioned it in that video as well and there's been one or two, two people get in contact and say, tell me more. How did, how did you find out? Again, you know, fairly similar questions. What are the effects of it? Um, so I thought the first video in this waffle on playlist could be about aphantasia, aphantasia. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. I think it's aphantasia. I thought it could be about that, but before I go on, and talk a bit about that. You know I don't use scripts per se. Uh, I generally, what I have been doing in the um, Don't Watch series is I, I've written a blog either recently or in the past and I pick out key things from the blog, um, basically freewheel my way through some key points that I've already highlighted and pull up some text and talk about that and maybe add some more context, add some more details to it. And I find that works quite well for me. I'm not a, a big script fan. Um, I don't like being, <laughs> I always like being told what to say. But I do like the idea of having, well, it's probably because I got used to it now, the structure of the blog, um, and then me being able to pull out key things I want to talk about, and then have that up on the screen for you guys to follow through as well. So I thought, okay, well, let's do that as well. So I've written a blog about having a Fantasia, put it in a new section on my website, ironically called Waffle On as well. So that's in a Waffle On playlist on my website. And I've taken that. I'm not going to go through it all because uh, it's got too much detail for this video. Um, and I'm going to fill in a lot of the blanks anyway. Well, not blanks, a lot of the areas that I've taken out with my own interpretation, just talking my way through it. So I've got that. I've got some info, got some wordage, verbiage from there that I'm going to be using, putting on the screen as per my Don't Watch series. Similar format, obviously different shirt because it's a different playlist. Um, and we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. This one's going to be a bit different because usually, well, this whole playlist can be a bit different because usually I'm talking about concepts, theories, approaches, philosophies. 
associated with professional practices, either in safety or in organizational coaching. The majority that I can think so far of the ones that I want to do for this Waffle On playlist, they're going to be quite personal, personal, I think. Well, this one certainly is. And we'll see how it goes. We'll see how I feel at the end of this one. If I want to keep putting personal thoughts and feelings about topics out there, and especially, um, you know, something like this, it's a, a personal, very personal uh, condition that I have, I was born with, I believe. So anyway, enough waffling on from me. The blog, I start the blog, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to read the opening paragraphs because they're basically talking about what I've just told you. A recent LinkedIn post, YouTube video, but what I do in that uh, opening paragraph is I mention the Aphantasia Network website. Now, this is a, a website, I believe the guy's in America. He found out he had Aphantasia several years ago, and he's built a network to help with, to help people who also find out they have it, direct them to resources, explain exactly what it is, how it how it's how it can impact your life some of the benefits of having this some of the negatives of having it where the research is at the moment is a very new uh finding of neurodivergence um and i believe most of the research is coming out of coming from a professor at a university in england i should probably have looked at his name he's got a couple of youtube videos i might have a look for them and see if i can put the link in the description below as well so it's very new it's very new, it's very um, unresearched so far. There has been research going on, but there isn't a big pool of knowledge there to um, extrapolate lots of meaning from. Bit of a staged and jagged sentence there from me. Not feeling my best today. Didn't sleep too well last night. A little bit of a temperature. But I'm going to... But so, anyway, just thought I'd put that out there. In case you thought, oh, Dave doesn't look too good today. That'd be why. So, oh, I need to move again. I always forget this part. Let's see how I look. I'm on my phone if I open. I should probably do it. So, first section of the blog post I want to bring up and talk about. The heading, what is aphantasia? Aphantasia is a condition characterized by the inability to voluntarily create mental images in one's mind. Imagine being asked to picture a beach at sunset, the waves gently lapping at the shore, the sky ablaze of orange and pink hues. For someone with aphantasia, this exercise doesn't conjure any internal visual pictures, or maybe very degraded. It's, it's a a sliding scale some people might get black and white outlines some people might get a vivid amazing uh, visual representation real life almost they're called um, fantics i believe uh, i'm right down at this end i either get nothing or say you ask me to picture my car i might get the pencil outline of the front bumper for about a second that's about it, and then it's gone, and then and then nothing. So it's a sliding scale. So to say they don't conjure any visual pictures is probably a misnomer on my behalf. It should have been they, for someone with aphantasia, this exercise conjures varying levels of internal pictures. That's probably a better way to write that sentence. Instead, we might understand the concept of details of the scene without mental imagery to accompany it. And this is interesting because this is... Instead, we might understand the concept and details. So when you ask me to picture a beach, sunset or whatever, I don't see it, but I understand the concepts of beaches, of sand and of sunset. 
Now, I understand for people who can see those things, the concept is the imagery. Um, and I, I find it even hard to explain myself. I read a, um, in fact, on the LinkedIn post, there was a post from the Aphantasia Network, and they were talking about the symbology of tokens and I can't remember what the other what the other thing is that they used. Tokens being visual representations for people who can see, and the other one was uh, the concept of the item. You know what it means, the value it might bring. So okay, well, let me let me say for a beach, for example. Ask me to picture a beach, sunset, eyes open, eyes closed. I can't do it. The concept, though, I may have been to a beach and, uh, well, I have been to a beach. I live here in WA, you know, Western Australia. I've been to lots of beaches and I remember how I felt. I remember um, that I might have gone fishing. I remember who I was with or if I got sunburned. It's more for me, anyway, uh, this isn't for all aphantics. This is for me. Not seeing it is replaced by memories of emotions and feelings. Uh, I understand the concept of sand. I know what sand is, and I know what the, the ocean is, the concept of the ocean. And if I see it, I obviously know it. I just don't create the imagery for it. All right. Was that enough waffling on for that particular one paragraph? Uh, two sentences we managed to get through? This is difficult for me as well because I'm still learning about it and the impact that it has on me as well. So what are we at? 12 minutes. Let's see if we can get through this. So the next section was called The Effects of Aphantasia. Living with aphantasia is a unique experience that varies from person to person. What I mentioned earlier on, it's not an all or nothing. It's a a varying degree, a lot like lots of other um, conditions that humans have. Some common effects include difficulties with memory recall, particularly when trying to remember visual details and challenges with spatial awareness or navigation. I've got terrible, I, I, don't, I don't know whether this is to do with the aphantasia, terrible navigation skills. Sense for awareness um, geographically is appalling. I'm known for it by my friends. However, it's not all challenges. Many of us find that we have developed a heightened ability in other areas, such as abstract thinking, verbal skills, and focused attention that isn't easily swayed by visual distractions. So it's similar to the concept of um, whether you've heard it. You know, if, you, if you're an adult, you've had all your faculties, uh, you know, you can hear, see, or, and you lose one of those faculties, if you suddenly become blind, your hearing improves, um, or vice versa. You lose your hearing, your, your eyesight. I don't know whether it works the way around. I know it works with hearing. I don't know whether your eyesight improves. Could be sending you on a, a red herring there, but... Aphantasia and organizational coaching. Now, I linked this because, obviously, finding out about having this within the past six months, there are some known um, disadvantages of having it. So when I found out that I, ev most everybody else could actually create images, I felt a, I felt robbed. To be honest with you, I felt um, a little sad initially that other people had this ability to create this world, this visual world in their in their mind's eye, <clears throat> either when they're awake or when they're you know, when they've got their eyes shut. By the way, I do dream visually. Uh, Aphantics do, can dream visually. I really enjoy my dreams, which is probably, um, I don't know whether that's because I don't normally see in my head. Um, but anyway, waffling on again. Um, what was I talking about? So having found out that I had it and there's a few on side of, and the known effects of it um, and the negative effects are you know, not being able to create it. I needed to 
turn that negativity around and focus on some of the benefits that it could bring to me as either a safety professional or as an organizational coach. And it turns out um, that there could be some benefits to me having aphantasia in the realm of organizational coaching. And we've touched on them a bit there. For instance, the ability to remain focused on one person without distractions is paramount in coaching sessions. My aphantic mind is less likely to wander into visual daydreams, allowing me to stay deeply engaged with my clients and their narratives. Did I start that paragraph or did I just, did I start it from the beginning or did I just jump in towards the end? I'm going to read it again just in case. Uh, you might wonder how aphantasia intersects with professional, with my profession as an organizational coach. Interestingly, some of the effects of aphantasia align closely with skills that are beneficial in coaching. For instance, the ability to remain focused on one person without distractions is paramount in coaching sessions. My aphantasic mind is less likely to wander into visual daydreams, allowing me to stay deeply engaged with my clients and their narratives. This focused attention also aids in listening and understanding without preconceived visual judgments, fostering a pure form of empathy and connection. In a coaching context, being present and genuinely attentive can make all the difference, enabling me to guide clients through their organizational challenges with clarity and purpose. Now, it's not the end of the blog, but it's the end of what I wanted to talk about in this recording. Um, let me just get this back over here so I can keep an eye on the time, 17 minutes. Okay. Um, I also want to outside of the realm of organizational coaching, one of the um, other benefits of aphantasia is the resilience to past trauma. I think they phrase it on the website, the resilience to PTSD. Now, like everybody, um, most people, I've had things happen to me in my past uh, you know, even, even stuff which, um, you know, was either somebody else's doing on me or whether it was just a, a situation I go into. What comes to mind is a, um, a near drowning that I had here in WA. Uh, now, because I can't create visual imagery, I can't, this, I can't relive the event over and over again visually and they think this is early research again they think that the inability to continually loop the visuals of whatever it was that happened uh, in the person's past protects them to a degree from some of the more damaging effects of ptsd um yeah so that's just another potential benefit and that's what I'm doing at the moment I'm trying to concentrate on the benefits of it as opposed to focusing too much on negatives so we've hit nearly 19 minutes now I think that'll probably do been waffling on a lot and like I said I'm not feeling 100% so we'll call that an end and thank you very much for watching